hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in today's video we are going to start a new topic a new subject so uh, we have discussed about various uh, things related to engineering which are uh, to the basic introductory concepts so today we are going to start another important subject associated with uh, engineering from the application point of view so we are going to start our discussion on engineering chemistry okay so before we go into the details of uh, the various things that we are going to discuss the first video as usual as we do with all the subjects we will just go through the basic introductory concepts okay so first of all the important thing what is chemistry so chemistry is basically uh, the study of uh, matter okay substance its properties and uh, its characteristic features and uh, the various changes it undergoes what changes when how the mechanism everything so the whole what when how where all those things associated with the changes or the properties associated with a substance with a matter okay that is the study of all that is called as chemistry so it involves a detailed study and analysis of the composition the chemical composition the structure the properties the behavior and the various changes that uh, occurs in it during the chemical reaction okay so this is what chemistry we can uh, define it in uh, simple words okay now the branches of chemistry now whenever we uh, come across chemistry the three branches or the three subcategories which come to our mind are physical chemistry and organic chemistry and organic chemistry those three uh, fields we study in our high school days and also during the college days okay but there are also two more uh, sub disciplines that we can add to it nowadays we can divide it it can be divided into various other ways but mainly we can say that we can uh, divide it into five main categories or sub disciplines physical chemistry inorganic chemistry organic chemistry analytical chemistry and biochemistry okay the five main sub categories or sub disciplines of chemistry so we'll just go through each of them in a short manner we'll see what each field uh, basically is okay so first is physical chemistry so it is the branch that deals with uh, the study of the basic principles okay the fundamental principles that is basically related to the uh, behavior of the substance from a uh, atomic point of view molecular point of view okay so how uh, and why the the substances or matter behave in the way they behave examining that whole thing from the molecular point of view going detail into that okay so why the atoms molecules and chemical systems they respond or they or the certain changes happen to them in certain conditions why it happens like i said why how when what changes all those things so from the molecular point of view taking into consideration the atomic behavior the molecular behavior that encompasses uh, physical chemistry okay so next is uh, organic chemistry so organic chemistry basically is uh, it deals with the study and analysis of uh, the molecules of life so basically we can say in uh, if we want to define it it is it deals with the study of uh, compounds which contain carbon if it has carbon then uh, 
along with some other elements then it belongs to organic chemistry okay so basically it is the study and analysis of the structure behavior properties of uh, molecules composed of uh, mainly carbon then hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and a few others okay so that is what organic chemistry is next is inorganic chemistry so if we want to just say it in a simple manner everything which does not belong to organic it is covered in inorganic chemistry but that definition is not really appropriate because uh, the gap between all these three or this five disciplines it is very you know there is a fine line that separates each of these uh, five disciplines it each has some overlapping portions which is common to all of these branches so we cannot just uh, uh, say that this branch is totally different from that or that is totally different from that no each of uh, these branches has some overlapping portions so inorganic chemistry we can say uh, it is the study of uh, the behavior the properties of uh, inorganic compounds which include metals minerals organometallic compounds so as i said we can say that it covers chemical compounds that are not carbon based but this definition is not appropriate because carbon is also very important to many inorganic compounds so there is a whole field that is uh, you know uh, the organometallic chemistry so this is a hybrid of organic and inorganic chemistry so we cannot separate each of these uh, um, these uh, sub disciplines totally that this branch is totally different from this or that branch is totally different from no each of them have some overlapping portions so physical organic inorganic next is analytical chemistry so analytical chemistry is uh, the study of processes okay procedures uh, various uh, devising ways and methods for the identification separation and quantification of various uh, substances or matters so this whole thing this whole subject it involves devising new ways new methods new procedures for the analysis of substances using the already existing methods or finding out new methods with improved efficiency than the previous ones and also whatever results we get from the analysis the interpretation or the application of those results to solve a problem okay so analytical chemistry uh, you will uh, find that in uh, various uh, fields such as uh, the popular example we can say uh, food processing or uh, various product manufacturing things where testing of products is done so for that various chemical uh, procedures are implemented also forensic science and various other examples of analytical chemistry is there uh, so analytical chemistry is basically deals with the uh, analysis of substances okay so to solve a particular problem using existing methods or devising new methods okay separation identification and quantification of matter next is biochemistry so biochemistry is the study of chemical principles in biological systems human beings animals whatever so how the chemical processes they occur within the living organisms the study of that is called as biochemistry so what is happening at a molecular level inside the cells and uh, the knowledge that we acquire the 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 results that we get from our analysis how we can use that knowledge to solve a, a problem related to biological system so basically this is used in medical science uh, uh, biochemistry to solve various health related issues related to human beings and uh, animals also so biochemistry is the study of all the uh, chemical principles applied to biological systems or living organisms okay 
सो फिजिकल ऑर्गेनिक इनऑर्गेनिक एनालिटिकल एंड बायो केमिस्ट्री नाउ दैट इज केमिस्ट्री सो वॉट इज इंजीनियरिंग केमिस्ट्री सो वी ऑल नो इंजीनियरिंग इज बेसिकली द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ साइंस टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम एनीथिंग दैट इज रिलेटेड टू प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग इज इंजीनियरिंग यूजिंग साइंटिफिक प्रिंसिपल्स यूजिंग साइंटिफिक प्रिंसिपल्स टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इंजीनियरिंग सो इंजीनियरिंग केमिस्ट्री इज बेसिकली द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ केमिस्ट्री फॉर द स्टडी एनालिसिस इवेल्युएशन एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली द सॉल्विंग ऑफ एन इंजीनियरिंग प्रॉब्लम ओके यूटिलाइजिंग द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टू सॉल्व इंजीनियरिंग प्रॉब्लम दैट इज वॉट इंजीनियरिंग केमिस्ट्री इज ऑल अबाउट ओके सो ऑलवेज यू नो वेन द वर्ड इंजीनियरिंग कम्स इन टू प्ले इट मीन्स it is solving a problem solving a issue using this scientific principles the application so engineering chemistry is that now the various fields in which chemistry is applied uh in the the engineering domain we know chemical engineering material science and engineering uh the uh, process control and instrumentation which is the chemical process instrumentation and systems uh solid state uh technology okay then we have the biochemical engineering the biomedical engineering the medical science uh, and electronics combined then the metallurgical engineering and instrumental analysis there are also various other fields in which we can uh have uh, maybe i'm not able to mention all of them but these are some of the fields where the principles of chemistry come into play for uh, the solving of a problem okay so this is what we can say related uh, to the basic introduction to engineering chemistry so basically if we want to understand what engineering chemistry is all about it is simply the application of the principles of chemistry the results that we have obtained from the study analysis of the various chemical substances chemical systems how we can apply those results to solve a current engineering problem in an efficient way okay so this is all about engineering chemistry so i hope you like this video so in the next series of videos we'll be discussing uh, various things related to each of the various branches of chemistry so it is not that we'll be focusing on one particular a uh, field we will be discussing some things related to particular field and then we'll move to another uh, covering the, something from that so in that way we will be covering all of these fields from the point of view of application to solve a engineering problem so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much